What's up guys, Graham here. Today we're going to talk about the new Rift expansion and no it has not been officially announced at the time of this video but official leaked information has came out that has confirmed that the new Rift expansion is going to be called Starfall Prophecy. Now this was a name that people knew about about a month ago because Tryon had registered the name but they wasn't too sure if that was going to be the next Rift expansion. It can be an expansion for any of their other titles. I mean, if you look at Trove, Defiance, I mean, so many other things could be space themed in a way. And uh, also, they didn't know if that was just going to be a code name because even before Nightmare Tide came out, it was called something else to kind of throw people off of the trail. But it looks like, yes, it is going to be Starfall Prophecy, exactly what everybody was speculating on. And it kind of makes sense with a lot of things with uh, if it's space kind of themed. Then the last raid that came out in Rift was called the Comet of Enket, I believe it was called. And that's kind of space themed right there. And then you had the Plain Touch Wilds, which came out not too long ago. Had it to where whenever you jumped, you almost did like a moon jump. It was a real high jump. Well, that may have been testing for this new expansion. So yeah, everything is lining up for this. All right, so why do we know that this is official information? Well, MassivelyOP.com has uh, posted screenshots and people have seen this uh, recently as well that this was up on the official Rift uh, pre-order website. So this is something that was up momentarily but they took it back down it may be back up by the time that you watch this video I don't know they're going to try to cover their tracks on this because this is leaked information somebody accidentally posted this before it was ready the expansion has not been announced so somebody is going to get in trouble over this to say it lightly all right so this is the standard edition of Starfall Prophecy here and it's for pre-order at $39.99 US dollars. Now what do you get for this? You get an instant level 65 boost which pretty much tells us that the level cap is going to be raised to at least 70. So that's kind of what the trend with the past expansions have been is a, a five level increase. So to get a level 65 boost they're not going to put you at max level. They're going to make you level up some. So Getting a level 65 boost and then it, uh, the level cap going up to 70 kind of makes sense. Alright, so then you also get a title which is the Star Lord, Star Lady title. You get Daily Prophecies. Now these are kind of uh, speculation here. It's probably like a daily quest kind of thing to where you're going to get faction with the new stuff and all that for the new expansion. So uh, not too sure exactly what that is. It's all speculation. Alright, then you also get access to Starfall Prophecy content. Now there is another edition that was posted up and this is the deluxe edition for $59.99 for pre-order and you get on this you get the ethereal drake mount you get the Asha Katari's remnant which is a wardrobe you get a ring of Enket and also the other stuff from the standard edition such as the free boost and all that so this is a little bit more stuff and a little bit more money on top of it so now what all is going to be in this expansion there's some stuff that's been leaked people have found out different things and i'm going to try to share it with some of you guys all right so let's go ahead and look um now this is the wardrobe that apparently is going to be coming out this is the asha katari's uh remnant or whatever uh now this is the female uh wardrobe of course is a, we don't have a, a screenshot of the male version of it but so far this has been posted on the forums for everybody to see so there you go that's the new uh yeah it gets smaller if i actually click on it so i can't really show you too much more information on it now the the mount has been given to some people to test out or something uh this is bose's uh live stream right here and let's go ahead and see this mount now as you can see it kind of flies around but it's actually grounded it's just coming off the ground it's not an actual flying mount or anything like that so it looks really cool it's a wyvern uh if you guys are familiar with it it's like a smaller size dragon um i'm not really sure like too much about it except for what you're seeing on the 
live stream right now I've seen lots of other people are posting screenshots of it so obviously people got to test it and everything before I even did I didn't even know about this stuff I was left completely in the dark so I'm finding out about all this just as you guys are and apparently there's been lots of other players that have been in the know uh, other than myself so I'm trying to report it as fast as I find out about it other people are live streaming about it and all that stuff so there we go um, yeah and uh, somebody asked in the chat here are you on PTS and Bo said no no it, it, he has already gotten this mount and it's not even on PTS so it's in the official game apparently a bunch of other Raiders have also got it so uh, PVPers got left in the dark on this alright so what else has come out with this we also know some information on the new factions here so here you have the three factions that have been reported so far they are the mages of Alitu, also the fora and also saint to what how do you say that tyrannus yeah there you go saint tyrannus so those are the three factions that we know about so far apparently more factions are probably going to come out we're not too sure but that is the first of the three that we know about so i hope you guys enjoyed this information some people are finding out about it faster than i am but they're uh obviously raiders that's getting all this information so i'm going to try to report it to you guys as fast as i can though i hope you guys appreciate it as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time